Hey everyone, how's it going? Good morning. It's around November 7th, 2019. I'm going to just say around just because days do get foggy and I, um, you know, days don't really matter when you're just having fun and helping people out. So anyway, so I just wanted to do a um, quick session here. Uh, I've got about 20 minutes and would love to see how I can help someone out. Usually it's someone that maybe hasn't done the emotion code or hasn't done the body code ever and they're looking to kind of make a shift in their life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual kind of shift. And if you can, do me a small favor. For those of you who are my clients, uh, maybe you know someone that uh, you know is very interested uh, in making a shift. Maybe they feel stuck physically. They have IBS or fibromyalgia, or they're dealing with fatigue, or maybe they're on the other side of the spectrum emotionally where they have anxiety, depression, PTSD, and they're kind of, maybe they've done the psychotherapy and they've done medication, but they just feel like nothing's really moving the way they want to. Um, they should probably try an energy healing session using the emotion code body code where I can help them out. And sometimes uh, from time to time, I'll just go online just to see if I can help someone and what they're doing. So feel free to like comment below. Give me a shout out from where you're dialing in from. And uh, again, if you can do me a favor, maybe you could tag someone who maybe uh, hasn't done a healing session and I would love to see if I can help them out, kind of introduce them to this uh, and we can do that. So right now I'm just kind of uh, looking in here. And also if you can, I just, all I ask people to do is if they can follow me on Instagram, it'd be really great, um, you know? And then uh, let me see if I can put my handle here. Give me one second. Okay, so here we are. So um, yeah, so definitely, let me see if I can uh, check something with it real quick. Okay, so if you guys just give me one quick minute, I'll be right back. Hold on one second. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So anyway, um, for those of you who are, um, you know, uh, interested in this, I'm, I can actually send you a, um, actually, one of the biggest things I want to let you know, for some reason, if there's no volunteers, is I want to talk about the heart wall. So if you look here, there's a, um, there's a thing called the heart wall, and uh, it's one of the, the greatest discoveries in, in energy healing. And a lot of people don't know about it, and people don't know that it's actually considered the greatest discovery in energy healing history, which is kind of a bold statement. And so I wanted to let you know what it's all about. Dr. Brad has an amazing story of the, the origin of it. Uh, his wife, Jean Nelson, who I've come to know very well, she had a childhood with a rageaholic. Her, her father was a rageaholic. And she definitely has some PTSD and depression from it. And she's always felt, according to like Dr. Brad's words, is that she always felt like she was, you know, outside looking in, you know, never felt like she connected with people socially, felt kind of like desensitized. And she had this dream and this dream was really interesting. She had a very inspired dream. And what happened was, is that she saw a, you know, kind of like when you go to these um, restaurants, kind of the older ones, they sometimes have those clipboards, those, those, those little clips like a spiraling merry-go-round clip thing where they would have the intake or the order there. So anyway, so this thing was, um, she saw like three things there, three different clips and with papers on it. And in her mind, Dr. Brad was wondering, hmm, I wonder if we missed something in your healing. Maybe these clips or these little intake forms represent like things we missed. And they found the other two things that they were kind of looking for, but there was like a third one that's kind of like still was a mystery. And I guess Dr. Brad was, was kind of praying about it, seeing how we could help out. And then what happened was, is he went into his office, I believe, and he had this vision. And when he had this vision, he saw this, like the floor change. And it, uh, when, when he saw the floor change, it was like this beautiful wooden 
pristine floor. And he heard this voice or some prompting that said that your wife's heart is below this. So then what happened was, is he went back to his, uh, his wife and told her, told her about the vision. And she's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And it was one of the first times in history where someone said, do you have a heart wall? You know, obviously it wasn't called a heart floor, but a heart wall. And I guess wood was the material that was covering her heart metaphorically. Her subconscious kind of thought of this wood. And what happened was, is that anytime you have, anytime you, how many times have, go ahead and put a one down there if you've ever felt like your heart felt heavy or feels like it's going to break. Go ahead and comment below a one. Um, many people have felt that. And really what people don't know, according to, you know, if you were to talk to a Mayo Clinic, uh, you know, cardiologist, they would say that, you know, we're actually very close to um, have an issue physically, which is, um, and you can possibly even die from it, which is called broken heart syndrome, you know, BHS. And what happens is when you have this, um, when you're, the tendons inside your heart are stretching, then it can cause an issue with your, with your heart and your heart can collapse. It can actually collapse. People every day, there's someone dying of some of broken heart syndrome. And probably like 20 years ago, if you ask a cardiologist, they'll probably tell you different reasons why you're having that. Nowadays, They've been waking up to probably like in the last 10 years, they've been waking up to like the fact that it's emotional trauma causing your heart to break. So it could be a death in the family, stress at work, um, a breakup, a horrible divorce, uh, physical, emotional, sexual abuse, stress at school. I mean, there's multiple reasons why for whatever reason it affects your heart and what your body does it has a defense mechanism. Surprise, surprise. Why would you be surprised that your heart has a defense mechanism and it creates this um, it, it, it creates a trapped emotion and it places it over the heart. It's specifically the emotion that you feel at the same time. So for example, let's say your husband is being mean to you and you feel resentment. So then you would create a resentment heart wall over the heart because your heart felt that heaviness and it's going to break. Some people feel the symptoms of the heart break, like about to break. Some people don't even feel anything. But the point is, is that you start stacking this wall very early on. Uh, some even people start their heart wall at one years old, five years old, third trimester, second trimester. Why? Because the mother is going through a lot of stress. That's why uh, in China, they um, some there's some rituals there where as soon as the woman gets pregnant, they actually go to like some type of sabbatical. They start practicing yoga. They start um, uh, they start getting like you know prenatal massages. They start eating fine. They start kind of spending some time away from the husband. Why? because they don't want to program the child incorrectly. So that child comes out without all the baggage that most children come with due to the mom having lots of stress, relationship issues, financial issues, and that baby is just in there in that roller coaster. You think that baby is not on the same roller coaster as you, but the baby is. And that is why when the baby's two, four, five, oh, my baby's colic, or oh, my, my baby is, can't sleep, my baby's you know, stressed out. You know, I just worked with a client recently and you know, there are some energies called, this is very common by the way, no will to live energies and will to die energies. No will to live means feeling very overwhelmed and you want to escape life. Will to die is I'm being really hard on myself. I don't want to be here anymore. Very, they're kind of like cousins, very similar. But what people don't know is that these are actual energies that stay behind after the moment is gone. People who have depression, suicide ideation, trouble moving forward in life, problems with their legs and feet, probably have these energies that are bothering them. No will to live and will to die. And guess what happens? If you're feeling that during second, third trimester, that baby is absorbing it. And that baby now has, can start off with an energy that can cause depression. That's why you see kids depressed early. You know, uh, so that's just one culprit. There's many other culprits. But anyway, the heart wall, uh, these are the things that um, go ahead and if you can, hey, thanks, thanks guys for uh, coming on here. Hey, Tori. Hey, Alicia. Um, hey, Alicia Donovan. Um, welcome here. Um, I still need a volunteer. Yeah, I do need a volunteer. Um, but this one I'm going to do here is I may have, let me just double check here. I'm going to look at my schedule. Um, 
yeah, I may have a availability later on this morning, guys. So I may jump on here, um, but but let's let's finish talking about the heart wall here. What I'll do is I'll I'll make this into like a heart wall video, so you guys are very familiar with this, okay? Uh, but I want you guys to participate because I'm telling you, if 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 anyone's looking for a major shift in their life. Uh, let's let's go ahead and put exclamation point exclamation point on the comment section. If you're looking for a major shift, and you don't know what a heart wall is, then there's a reason why you're listening to this. And the heart wall, um, again, is the greatest discovery in energy healing. I didn't believe it at first, just because I, I remember I was joking around with with Brad, and I was like, I was like, I'm gonna discover something. I'm gonna call it the greatest discovery in history. You know, I, I kind of made fun of it, but then. What happened was I started I started a veteran program to help people, um, a veterans program to help people. And uh, basically, when I worked with them to release PTSD, depression, anxiety symptoms, I've never seen such change in people within less than six hours of work. That to me was absolutely mind-boggling. Lowering someone's PTSD and depression, anxiety, 70 to 80%. Um, that for me was, that cooked me. I was done. I, I said, okay, wow, if we can help a veteran then, and who's had 11 years of war and has now peace with it, okay, this is where I want to help everybody with this. And it doesn't just have to do, obviously PTSD doesn't just come with veterans. It comes with relationships, it comes with childhood trauma. It comes with so many different things. But the veterans thing really shook me. I was like, whoa, this is real. No veteran has any intention to lie to me that their PTSD has gone down because these people deal with it on a daily basis and it affects their marriage, it affects their work. Yeah, there's, there, it doesn't help me in any way for them to let me know that they've improved in their emotional status. It wouldn't. So anyway, here are the five symptoms of the heart wall if you guys want to hear, hear in on this, okay? Um, number one, so go ahead. When I, when I do number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, when I do number one, um, let me know if you're dealing with this. And I'm telling you, these are the symptoms of the heart wall. So first of all, if you have any type of, uh, don't, let's not start the number system yet. We'll just say if you have depression, anxiety, or PTSD, if you have, if you have a history of it, go ahead and put a zero down there, okay? Um, and um, actually, you can put one zero if you have depression, two zeros if you have depression, anxiety, three zeros if you have depression, anxiety, PTSD. Um, let me know because that heart wall could be a big, big conductor of why you have that. All the trauma you've received in your life and you using these trapped emotions and blocking your heart, okay? Um, so go ahead and put some zeros down there. Let me know what you're dealing with. Um, number one is uh, low energy, fatigue. So why would you have that? Uh, well, because the heart is sending, what I didn't know is that uh, with muscle testing, applied kinesiology, you can muscle test to see how their people's uh, brains are, the connectivity from your brain to some similar, or, I'm sorry, to some organ or to some gland. You can see how the connectivity of the communication from your brain to your organ and gland. But what most people don't know is that the same happens with your heart. Your heart is now considered the second brain. There's more and more science coming up about the heart being a second brain that it not only pumps blood, but it also has your mission inside of there. It also um, sends um, messages to your organs and glands. So for example, if you've noticed people who have a lot of depression, anxiety, PTSD, they may have a huge heart wall. Not only that, for some reason, quote unquote, their health isn't that great. Like they're having major health issues. What's happening? Their low immune system and their fatigue can come from the fact that their heart doesn't have a clear communication to their organs and glands. So these, the, the message is being twisted because it has to go through all the trauma energies and then it, then it finally hits the organ or gland. And so that's, that's why most people who have a lot of those emotional symptoms are not only dealing with emotional symptoms, they're dealing with physical ones. So you can go ahead and um, put a one down there if you feel like you have fatigue uh, or if you if you you're constantly tired or um, your immune system you have immune system issues go ahead and put a one down there okay uh, number two is uh, mission in life you know it says as he in, in the good book it says as he thinketh in your heart so are you it doesn't say as he thinketh in your liver or as he thinketh in your brain it says as he thinketh in your heart so are you so first of all 
hearts can think. What's that? So that so already the good book talks about the second brain or already in there. But the the heart has always been known as what it holds, it holds your mission inside there. The problem is, what if you have a lot of trauma around your heart? It's hard to distinguish what your mission really is. That's why people have that feeling like, you know, I'm at a job, I'm successful, but, or maybe I'm doing okay, but I think there's something else out there that I'm supposed to be doing. I just don't know what it is. It's like a fog. Go ahead and put a two down there if you've ever had that feeling of a fog of like, what's my mission in life? I feel like I haven't found it yet. I haven't felt like every day is a Saturday yet. Why not? You know, why not you, you know? So that's, go ahead and put a two down there if you ever feel that way. Um, like, I feel like there's something else to life. Or, for example, you may be on your mission already, you're, you're, you know, but it's only mentally confirmed and not confirmed with your heart. So you might be like a real estate agent. You like it. You're doing very well. But why not love it? Is because your heart hasn't confirmed that this is what you're supposed to be doing. So as you clear your heart wall, either two things will happen. Either you'll really start enjoying your work and you'll start really loving it or you'll be like, ah, there's, some, there's something missing. And then I would just recommend follow your heart. You know, that's number two. Number three, okay, you guys are doing a great job writing down what, what, you're, what you're feeling here. Um, number three is uh, how about when you're in a relationship, when people give you love and affection, you're kind of like, meh, like I see you giving me love, but I don't feel it. Like it doesn't, it doesn't really fill up my cup completely you know that's number three it's like a desensitized heart how many of you guys have ever felt that the sad part is what if your partner was giving you love and giving you affection but you just feel numb so you're just like i don't know if this person likes me i don't know if this is real some days i don't even feel it that i'm supposed to be with this person anymore um you know that's called a desensitized heart and maybe that troubles you while you're in a relationship, you know, because you deserve to feel fulfilled, you know, that's number three. So if anyone is feeling that in their relationship where you're like, yeah, there's moments where I just don't feel much or I don't feel satisfied with the love that I'm given. But again, the ironic part is maybe you are being uh, given love, uh, but your heart just doesn't receive it. That, that's also a heart wall issue too. And then number four is um, how many times have you talked to your partner or your friend and they're like, why would you say that? And you're like, what? I, I didn't mean it in a wrong way. And they're like, no, you're being rude. I'm not, be, I'm not being rude. Okay, that's, that's because you're sending mixed messages to people. How many times has your partner got offended for something that you actually innocently said? And you're like, that's not what I meant at all. I don't know why you're getting upset. And guess what we do? In our minds, uh, we go, ah, you're probably having a what? bad day. But really what it could be is that your heart's having a bad day. You're sending mixed messages uh, to people. And so your heart's sending these clear, beautiful butterfly messages. And then boom, it hits your all these different walls. Depression at two, anger at seven, resentment at 11, um, bitterness at 12, uh, jealousy at 18. You know, all these different boom, 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 starts going through all the walls that you have around your heart. And then guess what? That butterfly ain't no butterfly anymore. It's some strange looking creature flying at that person. And then they're receiving the mixed message from your heart. That's why relationships are hard. That's why miscommunication happens frequently. That's why when you're talking to an interviewer for a job, you have the right resume, but you didn't get accepted. That's why when you're doing business transactions, you're talking to a customer, and you're like, I don't know why they didn't buy. I don't know. And it's because you're sending mixed messages to people. Go ahead and put a four down there if you've ever felt that. Like you, you feel like you're sending mixed messages to people. Like, you know, but you have good intentions. You have a good heart. Then you probably have a heart wall. And the fifth one is abundance and wealth. And so um, if you're feeling like, man, I feel like there's a block in my abundance and wealth, uh, you could have a heart wall. Why? Because there's nothing, if you want to write this down somewhere, there's nothing more attractive in a male or a female when they know that they know what their mission is mind and heart. They know how to receive love from people and they know how to give love. If you have those three components, guess what happens? You start becoming, the, it's like the beginning of a magnet of abundance and people want to just give money to you. They just want to help you out. They just want to like do anything to make you prosper. See that comes because your music has changed. A lot of us are walking around with like a symphony playing. We have three violinists that are off. And we're wondering why people won't sit down and watch our concert. And that's what the heart wall does. The heart wall changes our music. And so it's good. We, we, it protected us. I mean, we, we got put in a, a bomb shelter 
and we needed it. Maybe you're going through abusive times with your ex-husband. Maybe you're, you're going through hard times with your uh, ex-wife or your, whatever. You needed the hard wall to protect you, but what is life living in a bomb shelter? And that's what the hard wall is. It's almost like trying to experience life within a bomb shelter. So hopefully um, you guys really recognize that this is a very, very powerful energetic surgery that is available now to people for like 11 years now. The heart wall clearing, since Dr. Brad uh, discovered it, is something that's available to anyone. You can, and it sometimes it takes three sessions, sometimes four, sometimes five. So I've been through a lot of stuff. It's been it's six sessions to remove your heart wall because you've had a lot of trauma going on. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to write it down below. And you know, I'm grateful that you guys got to listen to this. Share this with somebody that you know. You're like, you know what? I know somebody who has all these five symptoms. They don't even know they have a heart wall. But if I were to walk up to them and, and be like, I just did it yesterday to a gentleman uh, at nighttime. He doesn't even know the word heart wall. He's like, what's that? I'm like, eh, doesn't matter. Just put out your arm real quick. Let me muscle test you to see if you have one. And guess what? His arm said yes. Isn't that amazing? The guy doesn't even know what the heart wall means. And his arm was testing positive during muscle testing. And he's like, whoa, why is my arm strong for this? I'm like, it's because you have a heart wall, you know? And so um, anyway, so just want to let you guys know that uh, definitely look into it. If you want to get more information on the heart wall, uh, you can definitely um, go on YouTube and look up heart wall 15 minutes. I kind of describe it all over again. So if you kind of want to review all the symptoms of the heart wall, just YouTube heart wall 15 minutes. I'll see, uh, you can see it there. And if anyone's looking for, you know, have any questions or maybe you're interested, maybe you're like, hey, I want to get my... Like 2020 is coming. I want to get rid of my heart wall. Like I'm ready. Um, just let me know. I want to see if I can help you out. Uh, maybe we can even do a, um, uh, a session for you, like an introductory session for you. I'd love to help out any way I can. Thanks, guys, for listening. I appreciate you. I appreciate your attention. Again, the, the greatest gift you can give someone is just let them know that this exists. You know, um, People need to stop taking medication. People need to stop uh, feeling hopeless that they can't get out of depression, anxiety, PTSD relationship issues, money issues. Like, like we just got to like the buck stops here. Like let's not have anybody keep going with a heart wall. So tag some, a friend, a family member, share this on your wall, tag anybody you can think about and let's see how I can help them out. Okay. So you guys have a great day. Thanks again for listening guys. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.